Hi guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some ideas to store your crochet hooks and knitting needles. So if you guys do want to see more craft crochet or business videos from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell. That way you know every single time I upload a brand new video. And with that, let's just get straight into this. And just so you know, if I say only hooks or only needles at some points, just know I mean both. I'm personally a crocheter, so I'm most likely going to refer to them just as hooks. But no, all of these ideas you can use for knitting needles and crochet hooks. So I have just moved myself over here. That way I can insert pictures of the ideas I'm talking about right here. These products, or if they're like ideas from Pinterest or whatever, will be linked in the description box down below in the order that I am talking about them. So with all of that out of the way, let's just get started. So my first idea, which is more of a decorative one, is mason jars, which for this idea I personally have this mason jar, which actually has paintbrushes in it that actually just sits on my desk that's in front of me, which you actually can't see. But this does just sit here as like a decor piece, but this is also an interesting idea for crochet hooks and knitting needles, especially if you have hooks or needles that are really pretty, they sell some that are like super sparkly. Or if you have some like custom made stuff like that those would be really good ones to display i think so if you have like a little desk area that you normally do crocheting or knitting from then you could store them in a little jar like that and it's super cute also it does not have to be a mason jar it could be any sort of like stationary thing as well so if you have like a little pencil holder that you normally put pencils or pens in you could also put hooks in there with pencils and pens or you could get a separate one for just hooks or needles so there's plenty of ideas with that but just little jars are a neat way to store them so they also sell little cubbies that have a little cutout holes that are actually different sizes that are meant for different crochet hooks. I'm not sure if they have them for knitting needles, but I'm sure they would. If they do, I'll link it in the description box below as well as the one for crochet hooks. But it is a cool idea if you wanna like put that on a desk or like your coffee table or something like that and use it as a decoration. I think that's super cool. And also would help you to know what size each hook is if it's in like different little slots. So again, that's an interesting one that could also be like a decorative thing. Next idea, which is one that I actually personally use, is a little drawer system that is on top of my desk that's actually in my bedroom. So I'm not gonna go and get it from my room, but I will just put a picture of one that is similar right here. And I do have the top drawer with my crochet hooks and then I have like sticky notes and pens and pencils in another drawer and then I also have like stitch markers and yarn needles and stitch counters and that kind of thing in the bottom drawer so it is kind of like my set of crocheting drawers and it is like right next to my bed as well which is where I do most of my crocheting so it works out pretty well for me and I think it's just a good way to keep organized as well so it doesn't have to be for just hooks, it can be for other small crocheting or knitting items. So the next idea I have for you guys is actually desk drawer organizers. So if you have a desk with drawers also like mine, you may have desk drawer organizers that are meant to separate things like pens and pencils, stuff like that. You can use that for knitting needles or crochet hooks and it actually works out really well. I do have a couple knitting needles and crochet hooks stored in a similar way in my desk that is actually right here. So that works out pretty well for me. And they also have some of those that are meant for stationary that have like little tiny slots as well. I personally have one with small slots and big slots. The bigger slots I use for crochet hooks and the smaller ones I use for stitch markers, a tape measure, different things like that that I may need for crocheting. It does work out really well if you use a lot of different things that they sell for stationery can be used for crochet hooks, knitting needles, stitch markers, stitch counters, basically all of the stuff that you need for crocheting or knitting 
can be stored in those types of things very well. So the next idea is just your average little pouch that is meant for storing hooks or needles. They do have these and a lot of times when you buy a set of hooks or needles, it comes with a pouch like this. So for example, I have this crochet hook here that has a grip thing on it. These types won't fit in those as well. But if you have crochet hooks that are just the plain ones like this, then that works really well for these. So I have a lot of both actually. So I will store my kind of backup ones that I don't use as often, which are the ones without the grips. I will store in those little pouch thingies and take them on like road trips or if I'm going in the car, that type of thing, I will use those hooks for and store them in the pouches like that. But those also just work if you're like a beginner crocheter. I also recommend those and just your regular hooks that fit in them really well. That works perfectly as well. Also, yarn bags are really useful. So I personally have a yarn bag that looks like this and that actually works really well for me because as you can see, the front thing has a little compartment that is sewn for hooks or needles. So this can actually be used for both, just like all the ideas. And you can easily store your needles or hooks in those little slots. And then there's other storage areas as well for things like your stitch markers, your yarn needles, all of that can be stored in this yarn bag as well as the yarn itself. So that really works out well for, again, like road trips and stuff like that. So my next idea is actually zipper pouches. So these are kind of another idea that is meant for stationary, but you can use these for hooks and needles really well. So if you have like a pencil pouch from school or a pencil box that was meant for school or you still go to school but you have one left over or something like that, you can easily use those for hooks, yarn needles, all of the little things like that that I've been mentioning throughout this whole video can fit in one of those zipper pouches and all of your stuff will stay together that way. So that is another good idea, especially for traveling, which I know I keep mentioning, but I'm the type of person that always takes a crochet project in the car whenever I can, so it is useful to have all of my stuff in one spot, that way I can take it with me really easily. Another idea is little clear containers. They don't necessarily have to be clear actually, but I do personally have one from the dollar store that works really well for me. I actually use it to store safety eyes as well as like yarn needles and stuff like that just extra ones for whenever I need them later on because they come in like really big packs on Amazon but you could use that for hooks and needles as well. Okay guys that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed and I hope it was helpful on finding some storage ideas for your yarn needles and crochet hooks. If you did enjoy and it was helpful please do give the video a big thumbs up. If you guys want to see more craft crochet or business videos from me Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell that way you know every single time I upload a brand new video. If you want to check out any of the ideas that I popped up on the screen throughout this video, that will be linked in the description box. As well as if you want to check out more videos of mine, my blog, my social media, my podcast, or my Etsy shop, all of that is always included in the description box down below. And with all of that, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!